Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to model structural members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler using STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this particular video, we're going to be focusing on creating members graphically. This will include using the Create Member tool and also a variety of tools available on the Node tab and the Member tab. Now each of the tools we'll be showing you today may require you to make selections and also customize your snaps in the interface. That being said, we will also go over those topics as we explore these tools. So our goal to this video is going to be creating the vertical and diagonal web members of our eventual trust system. And as you can see, I already have the top cord and the bottom cord created for this particular model. I'm going to go ahead and unselect everything by clicking anywhere in the main view window. Now what you're going to notice about STAD Pro Connect Edition is that the cursor works very similarly to how it would in the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler with the exception that we don't have individual cursors for different types of objects. So the cursor will select anything um, that's either within the fence or anything that you click on. So let's go ahead and review how the cursor works in STAD Pro. You can see clicking in the main window unselects everything. You can see selecting any member or node will select that entity. We can draw a fence and anything within the fence or that was broken up by the fence will then be selected. If you want to select multiple objects at one time, we can also hold down the control key which will select and unselect depending upon how we're using that tool. Now what you're also going to notice in STAD Pro Connect Edition in the physical modeler is that when you make any selection within the main view window, you're going to notice some additional tools are going to appear in the ribbon toolbar. Now right now I have both nodes and members selected. So I can see a node and member tab have been added. And these tab contains specific tools that can be used to either add member geometry or assign information to those types of objects. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and explore some of the tools on the nodes tab. And I'm going to select the nodes tab at this point, again, in the ribbon toolbar. Now here are these first three tools, the linear generation, the circular generation, and the quadratic generation tools. These all can be used to specify a certain number of nodes in a certain arrangement. Now on each of these tools, you're gonna to notice that there are some blue nodes selected with numbers adjacent to them. These is the order that the program is expecting you to select the nodes to get that type of geometry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unselect everything and select my nodes in order, and I'm planning on using the linear generation of nodes tool. So I'm going to select my first node, hold down my control key, and then select my second node. With those selected, I will now go to the node tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the linear generation icon. Now the program is going to ask me how many nodes do I want to, to generate. And if you would like some more information on any of the dialogues in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, click on the Show Help option and this will give you some more information. Now I'm going to choose to generate three nodes and they will be equally spaced between the two nodes that I selected when activating this tool. So let's go ahead and click OK, and we can see our three nodes have been added. Now again, in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, you can create members as they will be physically constructed. So here you can see that even though I added some new nodes along the top cord or eventual top cord of my trust system, it was not necessary to break up or segment that top cord for receiving additional members. The next command we're gonna take a look at is one of the member tools. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some nodes in a very similar fashion as what we just showed you. But instead of selecting a node first, we're gonna select a member first. So here I'm gonna select my eventual bottom cord of my truss. 
I'm going to go up to the ribbon toolbar and then select the member tab. Now here we'll be able to see several different tools where you can exchange connectivity that will switch the starting and ending end of a member. We can segment a member and then we can also merge a member. Let's go ahead and go with the segment member option. And I'm going to go ahead and split members into a number of segments. Let's go ahead and select that option. The number of segments I will create is two. Again, they will be two evenly spaced segments. And then I have the option, do I want to create the nodes only or do I want to actually officially segment the member? Again, I'm creating physical members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. So I'm going to ask the program to just create the nodes for me. Let's go ahead and finish this off by clicking OK. I can see that the full physical member has been retained, but now a node has been added at its midpoint. Now that I've added some additional nodes to the model graphically, I can go ahead and start creating my members graphically. Now we have several different create type tools available in the model tab of the ribbon toolbar. Now for this particular video, we're focusing on creating members. So I'm going to go up to the ribbon toolbar and select the create member icon. When you activate this tool, you're going to notice that your cursor changes slightly. This will let you know that you are in an active modeling condition. To create new members, you're going to select your starting node and your ending node graphically on screen. So let me go ahead and select this node and then its finished node. Now, what you're going to notice is that the tool is still active. And say I don't really want to create a member from this node at this point. I can either unselect the tool to stop the active modeling condition, or I could just simply hit the escape key on my toolbar, on my keyboard, which will then deactivate the tool. Let's go ahead and repeat that process. Let's click on the create member icon again. Let's select this node, go down, and then we'll continue on for this example and go back up. Let me finish this off by hitting the escape key to tell the program I'm done modeling members at that point. Now automatically when you use any of the create tools, it will allow you to go ahead and select existing nodes or grid coordinates if your model contains grids. But say for example, you want to customize where you can snap to. We do have some tools to help you do that. So here to access the snaps, I'm going to go to the data tab in the ribbon toolbar and I'm going to find my snap options tool and you can see snap to grids, snap to nodes and snap to member ends are all selected by default. But say for example, I want to be able to select the member quarter points as well. Let's go ahead and activate this option. Go back to the model tab in the ribbon toolbar and then click on the create member icon. Here you can see I can go ahead and still select the nodes or member ends, but now the program will also allow me to snap to a quarter point. This also works by being able to snap to a midpoint. Let's go ahead and continue up and do the next vertical. Again, the escape key exits you out of any tool, and then you can reactivate it as needed. Here I'm going to go straight from this area down to the quarter point and then up to the peak of my trust system. I'm going to hit escape and then also save my model. Now at this point we we're able to use several of the graphical tools available within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler including the create member tool. We we're able to use some node generation and some segmenting tools available in both the node and member tab of the ribbon toolbar. In addition to that we also went over how to make selections within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler and how to control your snaps. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.